Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut 2. Hope you like this video. We're going to talk about Japanese baseball. Uh, as you know, Major League Baseball is doing their, their playoffs right now, but a lot of stuff's going on in Japan. Uh, a lot of like the players that are in the professional leagues are going to be posted. Uh, Shota and Managa is going to get posted. Um... Yoshinobu Yamamoto is going to get posted. They're going to be, I would expect that Yamamoto will probably sign with the New York Mets. But we'll see. But we have some news, which is an interesting thing that's happening in Japan. And let me read you from BaseballAmerica.com. But before, you, before we get into this, hit the subscribe button if you want to know what's going on in Japan. I'm going to do a lot of stuff on Japan. I can't wait to get into it this all season. This is Baseball America. Rintaro Sasaki, 17-year-old Japanese superstar to attend college in the United States. Wow. Rintaro Sasaki will forego the Nippon professional baseball draft and attend college in the United States according to numerous reports out of Japan. Uh, confirming weeks of speculation, the 17-year-old Japanese slugger would head, head stateside. A 6-foot, 250-pound behemoth, Sasaki dominated the high school level in Japan as he slashed an eye-popping 413, 514, 808 OPS. Suzaki also hit a Japanese high school record 140 home runs and was thought to be in the mix to be selected first overall in the upcoming MPB draft. He attends Hana Nakamaki High School and plays for his, for his father, Hiroshi Suzaki. Shoei Otani also starred for Hananmaki Higashi while being coached by the elder Suzaki before signing with the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. The younger Suzaki's calling card is his thunderous raw power, which comfortably grades out as a 70 on the 20 to 80 scouting scale. While his power is his premier tool, Suzaki also has a knack for consistently finding the barrel and has a great feel to hit. He has plenty of bat speed as well as a big time buggy whip in his hands. Suzaki has also shown an advanced approach and has walked twice as many times as he has struck out. Defensively, Suzaki is limited to first base and he fields the position well. That's just, isn't that interesting? By coming to the U.S. for college, Suzaki would not be subject to MLB's international amateur rules, which limit teams to, to a fixed bonus pool, but instead would be eligible for the MLB draft. It's a path that White Sox 11 round pick Riku Nishida has just blazed. After graduating from high school in Japan, Nishida spent two years at Mount Hood or in Oregon, J.C., before transferring to Oregon, he was drafted and signed by the White Sox in 2023. Suzaki is uncommitted for now, but he will not be headed to junior college as he is considered a surprise top recruiting target for Division I schools. And in this video, I'm going to talk about one of those division schools in this, in this video. So if you're watching right now, uh, I'm going to talk about it momentarily uh, about where he's going to go, what the speculation is. An interesting wrinkle to Suzaki's recruitment is that since he is an international player, he cannot receive an NIL deal. From Vanderbilt.Rivals.com Headline, Rintaro Suzaki, the number one Japanese prospect, is Iron Vanderbilt. That's one of the big college teams in the United States. Japan has produced some of the premier baseball players in the history of the sport. Just to name a few, Shoei Otani, Ichiro Suzuki, Kenta Mahida, Masaharu Tanaka, Yu Darvish, uh, Koji Herrera, Hiroki Kuroda, Dasuzaki Matsuzaka, and Hideki Matsui, among many others. Rintaro Suzaki, the top high school prospect in Japan, could be the next great Japanese born player in the MLB. At 6 foot 250 pounds, Suzaki is reportedly considering playing college baseball in the United States after his final season in high school. According to Yaku Cosmopolitan, a reliable source for Japanese baseball, there's growing speculation he will skip the MPB draft to 10 college in the United States, which was confirmed. The magazine also states that it's only natural for a generational talent to keep his options open. If he dreams of becoming a top MLB slugger, he might think it makes more sense for a development standpoint to go stateside now. That said, he's probably just doing this to gain leverage and will settle on MPB. Reading that, it may be a long shot for Suzaki, a generational talent, to actually move to U.S., especially since there are rules that condone such a, a decision. Quote, there are already restrictions and rules in place that greatly discourage it, but they can't stop him from doing it. 
they can just make it difficult for him to return to the MPB if he fails in the U.S. and risk to the decision. For Tim Corbin and Vanderbilt, why not try to snag Sasaki? The Yaku Cosmopolitan confirmed that Sasaki is indeed eyeing Vanderbilt. Remarkably, during his high school career, he had 138 home, which was 140 now. This article is from a month ago, which easily broke Kotara Kiyomiya's high school home run record of 111. He's been coined by some as a Japanese prince fielder. In official games, he's slashing a ridiculous 413, a 1322 OPS, 808 slugging percent. It's crazy. According to Yaku Cosmopolitan YouTube video, Zaki's built like a tank and might have as much raw power as any 17-year-old on the planet. Hiroshi Sazaki, Ritaro's, Ritaro's father, is also his coach at, at the high school. That's the same team that Shoei Otani played from when he was in high school. So obviously, the, you know, the coach has a, a huge record here of success. That If you play for him, you got a ch- chance to be a great, great player in, in Major League Baseball. In an ever-changing landscape of college sports, which now seems to revolve around the transfer portal and on NIL possibilities, this would be an outside-the-box move for Tim Corbett. If the Commodores could land Sasaki, it would be also prove the global reach of this program in a remarkable way. With rumors and speculation gaining traction in terms of Vanderbilt's inability to attract the top transfer portal players, similar to other SEC programs, Signing Sasaki would silence many of those critics. Now, of course, this is far from a done deal. But the fact that Vanderbilt is even being considered by Sasaki is a strong endorsement of one of the premier college baseball programs in the country. The market in would be something college baseball has never seen, and the Vandy boys would be right in the middle of it. In a sense, this move could potentially act as the college version of a Shoei Otani-type phenomenon. Although Sasaki does not pitch the name recognition, in and of itself will create media attention even stronger than the duo of Kuma Rocker and Jack Light. This kid is a big uh, name in Japan, obviously. Uh, and if he were to go to Vanderbilt, he would the, the Vanderbilt would get an enormous boost, attendance-wise, from people of Asian descent wanting to see him play. And he's an everyday player. So every game would be an event. If you ever watch these games in Japan, it's like a party. It, it is like a like a, it is like a local party. Where people are bringing all kinds of noisemakers in between the games. They got the, the girls dancing. It's it's quite an event. So they would be bringing all this stuff into into Vanderbilt. It'd be awesome to watch it. It's not something you see in in college baseball. That's for sure. So you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to Baseball Hut Two. We have more stuff on some of these players, great players in Japan. And I'll see you later.